here we're giving a picture of a situation to start with up in the top left corner. And then the language in the actual problem is describing what that picture represents. And so we've got this garden beside a home with this rectangular boundary. We've got the worm density of the soil at any point along a strip X feet from the edge of the house is provided by this F of X where it's in worms per square foot. And they want to know which of the following integral expressions below gives the worms population of the garden. You can see just kind of based upon your answers here, which is sometimes what you want to look for to get yourself going on a problem like this, that what we're looking at is an integral setup. And so what we need to do here is really understand how the units of an integral problem are created. So we know just kind of based upon what we're looking at that we're definitely going to be setting up an integral of our f of x dx. The first thing we need to know you can see is what our bounds are going to be on this. Well, when we talk about f of x, f of x is a strip x feet from the home's edge, right? So when you look over here, the home's edge is going to be this part of our graph. And so then x feet from that home's edge would be this situation going on here. So we would be starting at 0 on this side and ending at 5. So we know right now that the integral is going to go from 0 to 5. And now, you know, I come through and I say, okay, well, what would I get out if I was just using these units here? So to do the units, to figure out the units on an integral problem, you come through and you look at your different pieces. So f of x right now, we'd say, okay, what is the units on f of x? Well, f of x is worms per square foot. So what we know right now is we have worms per square foot, so foot squared. Then the dx, this is, an, this is talking in the units of x. The units of x are feet. So we would be multiplying by feet. So right now, if we just left it like this, you can see that I've got sort of feet on top and feet uh, squared on bottom. Those feet would end up canceling out. And what I'm left with right now is still worms per foot, which is not what I want. What I want at the end of this is what is the worm population? So I want those units at the end of this to be worms. Well, I can see that, you know, I don't want to strip. I'm really looking to find, you know, the full area here. And so I look back and I say, okay, well, I need to multiply this by something that has just feet. Because if I can multiply it by something that's just feet, my feet units are going to cancel out and I'm going to be left with just worms. Well, to get that area, that's where we would need to multiply by the rest of our little rectangle here. So we would want to multiply this by 7. If I multiply that by 7, again, those units on 7 are feet. That's giving me the feet that I needed here to finish out this problem. So then feet cancel with feet, and I'm left now with just worms as my final conclusion for what this value would be. So this problem is very conceptual as far as knowing what the setup looks like, but when we do it, you know, look to your answers. Sometimes looking at the answers on a multiple choice section are, the, are keys to sort of getting you going. And remembering that when you're dealing with integrals and you're trying to find the final answer, it really is a units game. So start breaking down your units a chunk at a time until you get to the units that you're looking for. Once you do that, on this problem, we can see that our final answer would have been 7 times the integral from 0 to 5 of f of x dx, which would have been option C. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, please click that like button and subscribe. And also share it with your friends and anyone else you know who might be crying about an upcoming AP Calc test. You can find more videos from me, more sample AP Calc questions, and my complete AP Calc study guide over at my website, apcalcprep.com. Have a great one.